So I've had my forehead lines done in between my eyebrows done. I would almost enhance like this part in mm -hmm. here. My booty may be too big for these shorts now. Oh my gosh. Is this because today's my birthday? I was feeling so bad to where I would not have even been upset if everything ended at that moment. Now I'm rising. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. It's your good sis, Crystal Nicole. And today we are in preparation, y'all. Today's vlog, honey, is a combination of a lot of things. First of all, it is moving, well, not moving week, but we are packing for moving this week. Y'all saw in the last video, we toured apartments all in Dallas and we actually got our dream apartment. So this week we have to start packing because move, moving is literally in, today is the 20th, we move on September 3rd. So as you can tell, we have like literally 14 days to pack this entire apartment up. So I have to literally get to it. But today we are also going into the med spa because we are getting Botox, well not Botox, lip filler. Um, I already have a lip filler. I haven't shared that with you guys yet but i got lip filler last earlier this year maybe around like march right before i went to finland actually i got a lip filler and i really do love how it looks but you really can't tell anything like you can't tell i have lip filler right now you will only know if i tell you and the reason why i got it is not because i needed my lips to be bigger but I just wanted the lines that were in my lips to be filled out. So she only used like a quarter of the regular amount. So I literally did not get a lot put in it at all. So I want to go back. I feel like a lot of it has like dissolved since then maybe. That's kind of how I feel. So I want to get some more put in for volume. I do want to go a little bit bigger. I know. I do want to go a little bit bigger. And I also just wanted to get my lines filled in some more because I feel like they're starting to come back just a little bit. And me getting lip filler, y'all, is literally just something that I want to do. I'm content with how I look, but if I can, you know, if I want to change this, change that, I have the right to do so. So that's the whole reason why I am getting lip filler. Y'all, my nail fell off. Look at how ugly this nail is. Ah! It's so hideous, but I'm going to let it breathe a little bit before I put another one on. And I got some new nails I want to put on. But also, if you're new to your channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. I know I talk fast. I talk a lot. That's just me. But hopefully, y'all appreciate me for who I am, okay? Um, also, let me show y'all today's outfit. Well, I'm not wearing this out. This is my house clothes. But I want to show y'all my house clothes because this set is so cute. This is from Skims. Look at how cute this little romper is. And, y'all, I have the shoes to match. <laughs> So I'm walking around my house feeling like a little delicate heart baby, okay? But I actually have to leave in 20 minutes, 15 to be exact. So I'm going to go change my outfit, get ready, pick y'all back up, and then we're going to head on to the appointment. <laughs> y'all, so we are on our way to the appointment, and I go to Skin Spirit. The downtown location and these are the same people who i've been going to for a very long time well actually to get all the things i've had done oh good we're gonna be on time girls so i've had my um forehead lines done in between my eyebrows done my crow's feet done i've also had some cheek filler done and she also puts on my small lines um, but I do kind of feel like all of that's worn off. Well, cheek, well, I don't know about the cheeks. Some, whenever I tell people I've had cheek filler, they say, oh, I can see it. But if I don't tell them, they wouldn't know. So that's a good thing. But also, like, I don't know if it's worn off or whatever. But it just basically helps you look more, like, rejuvenated. Well, let me not say cheek filler. It's more so, like, under the eye filler. That's what it was, not cheek filler. And Lo is actually out right now. I haven't gone to her in a while because she's out on an injury. So... I haven't gone in like six months, but I finally called and I'm having someone else do my lip. It's gonna be really nice to get a little refresh on that. But y'all, last time I had my lips done, baby, I was so swollen. When I tell you I look like a duck, I'm gonna try to insert a photo so you guys can see how I look. I look so bad. <laughs> what the heck, what am I doing? I thought I was supposed to be going this way, girl. 
it looks so bad y'all I'm not even gonna hold you until it wore until like all of the swelling wore off but I was looking awful so yeah we are in route um, but for this vlog y'all we have so much to get done thankfully for work my workload is not that heavy this week so I can I have more time that I can dedicate to getting things done um, around the house we for sure have to pack up the entire apartment between this week and next week. I also believe my friend Ben Bai is coming into town sometime within the next few weeks to also help me pack everything up. I was supposed to go to Puerto Rico. The initial plan, y'all, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all the initial plan. When I was in La La Land was to pack up my apartment. I was gonna go to Puerto Rico for a month. A month, girl. Then I was gonna move to LA. That was my initial plan. That was what we were gonna do. And if you ask, why were you gonna go to Puerto Rico? Girl, just for the giggles. Just for the giggles, just to have fun. Cause I was like, why not? So that was the initial plan. Then things got real. And that's not I decided I was gonna move to Dallas and LA. And I was like, wait a minute, girl. You got some things to focus on, okay? You you don't have time to be goo goo ga ga in Puerto Rico. You need to focus. So that's when I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just skip out on Puerto Rico and I'm gonna just go to Dallas and then right after Dallas we're going to LA and they're also probably wait we're going to New York first then we're going to LA so we have like a whole lot of things going on then I'll probably go to Puerto Rico sometime in October but I'm also happy she's coming here so I can still see her girl life's been hectic 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 okay so let's go get this lip filler done baby and then I'm, I'm gonna call y'all back and we're gonna talk some more do some more things but welcome to another vlog y'all i'm so happy i'm so happy happy to be back and vlogging y'all don't understand like i miss you guys i miss y'all so so much do y'all miss me Okay, say your name and everything. I'm Katherine Clayton. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Skin Spirit. I've been injecting for about 10 years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I am with this beautiful lady. We are going to Yay. just even her lips out. She already has beautiful lips. So all we're going to do is just work on the shape and the border. Yay, I'm, I'm so excited. excited. Yay. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> like right here, I get the border and then it gets more fleshy like in here so I would work on that border part yes oh my god I'm so happy you said that because yes. whenever I apply like whenever I just apply my lip gloss in the morning I can see like the top part is like less yeah and you more... and you're juicier like down here mm -hmm. so I feel like you're almost more like it just wants to come out even a little I would do this make this blend in more mm -hmm. with like your fullness in here but I wouldn't overdo this because I think what you're going to get is just like a big, you're not going to have the shape, you know, like it's just going to look too full and like, um, I don't want to say like wormy, but like it's just not going to have the same like cute little definition okay. and pout. But I would almost enhance like this part mm -hmm. in here and make this look nicer and blend that tight tissue in yes. with that. Um, yeah. And that, you can probably see like when she did mine, you see it's like a little lumpy. And that's what will happen when you have fleshy tissue. The filler will try to make little pockets. Okay, and yeah. like find a spot. All good. Okay, I'll tear it up a little bit. <laughs> Her, but she's like really flat here and you can start seeing she's getting a border now on mm -hmm. this side and then we'll keep blending it just a little more but I want to create like that like shape mm -hmm. all right y'all it's a little bit later on in the evening and I wanted to show y'all my lips real quick before we go run errands so this is what they're looking like as you can tell that she only put filler in the top lip she didn't do the bottom lip so I'm gonna zoom you into my top lip and you see how plump and big it is. It's also swollen right now. So that's literally going to go down by so much because it's oversized at the moment. But I'm going to insert my before and after photos. Mind you, I'm also swollen in these photos. And you can just see how good it looks already. Like I love it to say it's swollen as well. I think it looks so good. Especially when I put my makeup on. 
I just feel like it's gonna look really, really nice with my entire face. But it's most definitely big. But if I turn to the side, you'll see that it matches my bottom lip now. Because my bottom lip, y'all, is just naturally big. So she only put filler in my top lip, which I actually like as well. And she also made my, um, I forgot what these are called, but she made these more emphasized basically because at first i had a dent in between my line and my actual lip it was like a little dent in there but now she kind of like evened it on out and also made that definition more apparent so i think it looks really really good i'm excited to see how it looks in the next few days um since it is swollen right now but yeah so let's head on out we're about to go to home depot um we have to get some boxes y'all to pack up this house like I have to start packing right now. I can't delay it any longer. Also, Benji thinks he is coming with me. He has been, whenever I'm about to leave, he stays by my side. By my side. You wanna come with mommy? You wanna come with mommy? Give me a kiss. Mwah, thank you. I guess you can come with mommy, huh? You wanna show them how, how much of a good boy you are when you go in stores? You wanna show them how much of a good boy you are? Yeah? Y'all watch this. Benji, you wanna go outside? Three, two. <laughs> oh y'all, he don't play games. He know what outside means. Bubba, you wanna go outside? Show me, show me, show me, show me. He know his leash in there. Show me. <laughs> okay, I know what you want. I know, I know what you want. He's unwell. Y'all yeah, watch this. <laughs> Come here, sit, sit. Y'all, please look at this, sit. Okay, 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 I know you wanna come. Sit, okay, 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 calm down. <laughs> calm down, calm down. All right, let's go. Guys, I have to make Benji's bed. We've made it to the store, wait. I have to make your bed. Okay. Into the basket. There you go, Bubba. Extra large, heavy duty. That's what we need. I didn't think this through. How am I gonna carry all these boxes with you? Okay, I may have to do it like this. Uh, Bubba, I am so sorry. You think we have enough? Some more large size. I don't really feel like I need small size. Like for what? We have about one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we have a lot of boxes. I still don't know if it's gonna be enough. Well, clearly it's not gonna be enough, but I feel like this is a good starting point. I don't feel like I need medium boxes or maybe I'll get a few mediums, but like, what do you need medium boxes for? You know, like what's the whole point of that when you have a lot of stuff? Like that's just a waste of money, right, Bubba? We got all our boxes. I need y'all to understand how insane this looks. Can somebody please come help me? Like, how am I supposed to get down the aisles? This aisle not wide enough. Can I have some help? Can y'all call that over the speaker? Help, please. Girl, I can't even go down. Okay, let's try to go down this aisle. Ooh, Bubba, you okay up there? Ooh, we on a lighting aisle. Girl, I'm finna wreck this whole thing. Oh, well look at the lighting in this section. Wait a minute. Almost didn't make it. <laughs> okay, I may have gone just a tad bit OD. Benji, get your... Who told you to do that? D with the boxes. Benji, no. This dog act like he has no home training. You are not independent. I'm from the hood, but you not. Stop acting like you are. Guys, we're back at home. I feel like we've been here a lot of times when it comes to me saying the words we're about to start packing. Like, is it just me? I feel like we've been here a lot, but I know a packing box hate to see me coming. So we gonna start in the closet and y'all my closet is so ridiculously packed. I don't even know what, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. So my plan is to throw things out as I go. And as you can tell from right here, I've already thrown out a good bit of stuff. But this is from like 
when I did my laundry recently. So that's stuff that I actually was wearing. And I also cleared out a few drawers. So I'm getting rid of a good amount of stuff, which I'm actually very happy about. I love to get rid of stuff. I am going to be throwing things out as I pack, but I'm gonna start in the closet because this way I'll be able to like throw out coats and jackets and stuff that, just basically stuff that I know I won't be using, you know what I mean? Since I'm moving in September, I won't need my coats or jackets. So I'm gonna pack up all the heavy stuff and things that I don't really wear right now. So let's get to it. Let's just get to it. Nothing to it, but to get to it. Oh, I make her wear this for Fashion Week. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this aside. This is something that's super cute, but I've never really worn it. I don't really know how to style it. Like, how, hello? How am I supposed to style this? Like, I've worn it like one time and it's like, okay, Crystal, do you wanna get rid of it right now? No, I don't, but I've only worn it once and that was for a photo shoot. So I kind of feel like I should get rid of it, right? Like, and I also don't like turtlenecks. I feel like my head is too long for a turtleneck. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Love this sweater from Zara. She's coming with us. This is too small, so it's not coming with us. She's cute, but I've only worn her once. And this color, it don't really look good on my skin. Yeah, it does. not Ooh, this color is ugly on my skin. Oh my gosh. This set served this purpose, but I don't think we need her anymore. This shirt, y'all, confuses the crap out of me. I have no clue how to wear this. Like, it was so expensive too. Like, I just don't understand how to wear that. Oh, why well, I took it off the hanger. She's coming with us. This blazer, wait, is this a set? I never knew I ordered this. Oh, baby, I'm wearing this this weekend. Now this was a cute moment in my head, but girl, it's giving purple yellow bird. This, oh yeah, this is an absolute no. It's giving, I'm, I'm bringing sexy back. I'm gonna keep it though for a beach cover up. <laughs> you know, a little sheer moment. This is a black owned brand, so I'm gonna keep her. And this is a cute set. My booty may be too big for these shorts now. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a shirt that I wore to my interview weekend for my first big girl engineering job out here in Austin, actually. I literally moved, I literally flew out here a week after I graduated. I got a call like a week before I graduated from the engineering department or the engineering company out here in Austin. And they were like, we want to interview you. And I was like, where's Austin? <laughs> I didn't even know where Austin was. And I flew out there like a week after I graduated to interview with them. And no, actually I flew out there like a few days after that call. So I was still in college, about to graduate, flew out there. And when I was out there, I remember wearing this shirt. I don't believe I wore this shirt to the interview because I had jeans on, but I feel like I wore this shirt just when I was out there doing like casual stuff. And I never realized I still had this shirt. I'm gonna answer the photo so you guys can see, but like I literally stumbled upon that photo like two days ago, looking at old memories. And this is the shirt. What the heck? Like it's so crazy how far we've come since then. Like from my first job to no longer working a job, to having my own job, my own business, my own career, like self-employed. This is crazy. First box is done and we have many more to go. Good morning, happy Wednesday. We are getting ready to go to the gym. I'm getting a late start this morning. I stayed up a little bit later last night. So we're getting a little bit of a later start. We're about to go to the gym and just do like a full body day. I've been trying to do more like full body days and do like three days in the gym. That way I don't have to like go every single day depending on my schedule. But today we have a lot of packing to do. I also have a meeting with a brand at 12.30. Pretty much all is on my schedule. I also have content to record, but I'm gonna record that tomorrow because I want my lips to go down a little bit before I shoot the content. Also, here's a lip update. Nothing's numb anymore. Everything's like, like all the numbness has worn off, but this is what they look like. I'll try to zoom y'all in so y'all can see. Very plump. I really, really like them and I just needed to go down a little bit 
and then we'll be good. So yeah, let me show you my little workout fit. Oh, where are my shoes? Okay, here's the fit. So this top is, I believe, Navigation. The shorts are Vitality. And then I have on these shoes. I love the little pop of color with these shoes. They're like Nike Metcons. And then I have on just a jacket, a white jacket, my little Kerry Washington jacket, you know? It's handled. And then Mr. Who Thinks He's Coming With Us, who always be a good boy whenever it's time for me to go. You're not coming with me. You're staying here. Y'all see his legs cross? He said, don't play with him, baby. The pose is nasty. Oh, girl. <sighs> Exhausted is not the word. <laughs> I just got back from the gym and y'all, I went to my mail room to get my packages. And I was like, there's like an area in our mail room where you can put like cold items, like a refrigerator. And I never check it because I never order anything that's cold. Something told me to check it today. And girl, why was this big old box in the fridge for me? I don't even know what it is, but it says ice cream cake jars by Danny. I don't remember ordering any ice cream. So we're about to open this up together. And I also don't know how long this has been downstairs. Cause I never checked the cooler, but it says it has dry ice in here. So I'm like, what in the world is this? And I had to carry this all the way back to my apartment. Ugh, I am exhausted. Oh, girl, it's from Kiehl's. What? No, y'all. Please look at the inside of this box. Kiehl's, why did y'all put ice cream? Do y'all have ice cream in here? Wait, did Kiehl's send me? Do I open this? I am so confused. Oh my gosh. Kills, what are y'all doing? Oh my gosh. Wait. Shut. <laughs> what the heck? Y'all, this is a whole Oreo cake. Kills, what is this for? <laughs> is this because today's my birthday? Crystal? <laughs> Happy birthday from your Kios family. Here's to another year filled with love, joy, and glowing skin. We appreciate your partnership and hope you enjoy your special day. <laughs> Kios, y'all confused the heck out of me. I was like, what the heck? So today is my birthday, y'all. I don't celebrate my birthday, which is why like no one ever knows when my birthday is or how old I am technically. Like no one really knows that, but I don't celebrate my birthday. So I never publicly say when my birthday is or today's my birthday, but today is my birthday. <laughs> What's the odds that I just check it on today though? Like I never check that cooler, but this is such a cute surprise. I was not expecting to receive this. <laughs> and then it's filled with, oh my gosh, I literally was looking for this product a few days ago because I wanted to use it. And it's my like one of my favorite moisturizers and I ran out. So they sent me an ultra facial cream. Um, they sent me a rare earth deep pore cleansing mask, which I'll probably give this away to one of you guys because I already have a few of those. I literally use the avocado eye treatment every single morning. So I'll probably give this one away too. Oh, my favorite SPF. I don't know if I'm giving this one away because I love this so much but I do have an extra one in my cabinet right now. Like I keep these stocked because it's my favorite SPF at the moment. And then I literally use this on my vacation. <laughs> you guys saw me use this in my last vlog. The face wash is such a, I love the mini size version because I could travel with it. So I just keep this in my travel bag. So I'll probably also give this away in the giveaway. But Kills, how? <laughs> That was so cute. Oh my gosh. It's a loaded cookie. Oh my gosh. That is such a cute surprise. This is, I'm gonna enjoy this today. I'm not gonna lie. How cute is that? <laughs> then we also got another package. I don't know who this is from. Oh wow. Oh, this is a lab sample. I actually cannot share this with you guys. <laughs> it's from one of my favorite skincare brands. They sent me uh, oh, it's gonna be so good. I can already tell. They sent me a sample of one of their, one of their new products to test out. 
um, before it actually launches. And then I got some from L'Oreal. Let's see what this is. Oh, yes! I have been wanting to try this setting mist. So y'all know this is like the one size, I don't want to say one size dupe, but like people are comparing this setting spray to one size because it's a transfer proof, waterproof, and it like heat proof setting spray up to 36 hours. Dang. So I want to try this for sure. And it's supposed to set your face in three seconds. Then they sent me a highlighter, which looks like the Fenty um, Diamond Balm. I think that's what it was called. The white highlighter by Fenty. Then they sent me a brow lamination. So many brands are coming out with brow lamination products. And then they sent me a matte resistance bold color. Ooh, this red. I was feeling this red. Yep, it's a red lippy. And then, oh, did I? Oh, I still give it away. And then a brow lamination product. Ooh. So thank you so much, L'Oreal. Thank you so much, Kiehl's. <laughs> This is so funny. Also, I ordered this brow gel. I don't know if you guys have been seeing this brow gel online. It's made by this black girl. And I'm sorry, her brows look so doggone good every single time she comes across my feed. And after about seeing her on my feed about 10 times, I said, girl, let me order the brow gel. And it looks like it gets her brow so sleek. If you be on TikTok, I'm sure you've also seen her. She has like the most beautiful brows and they're always snatched so i decided to order her brow gel um it's called raw essence i'll just show you guys raw essence is what it's called no smell so that's good but it's supposed to be like one of the strongest brow gels or at least that's what she claims and her brows be snatched so i'm excited to try this out and it also comes with a little spoolie so i can't wait to put that to the test all right so anyway let's get ready for the day i'm about to make my smoothie because i am starving then i'm gonna get my day started and we have a meeting and we have a meeting with olay at 12 30 it's currently 11 04 and i'm so excited y'all because y'all i don't know if y'all knew but on tiktok if you follow me there you saw where i work with olay on their body wash it was such a spur of the moment we were my dad and i were in la and I was about to record a campaign for Olay, but earlier I went to the Aloe Gym and I brought my tripod with me to the Aloe Gym, but I left the tripod in the Uber. So I didn't have a tripod to record my Olay campaign. And my dad was the only other person who I had in LA. So I literally recorded asking my dad to record, my, record me in the shower because I had to promote the body wash. So, it was funny because it's like you're asking your dad to help you record shower content. So I recorded that whole like interaction, the BTS of the campaign. That ends up going viral. So of course, when that went viral, everybody wanted to see the actual campaign. So when the campaign was posted, that went crazy as well because everyone's like hyping my dad up with his camera quality, his camera skills. Like it just made the campaign do like perform amazing. So, well, amazingly, so Olay came back again and now they're working with me for four more pieces of content, which is like a huge, huge, huge opportunity for me and like a crazy opportunity as well because it's such a household name. So I love doing longer term partnerships. Y'all, please look at this dog right now. Do y'all see his face? He's like, yeah, just keep talking and keep ignoring me. <laughs> I love this dog, y'all. He is so funny. But anyway, come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here. Hi, Bubba. Okay, I know you want to be included. I know. Okay, so um, I recorded the content. And yeah, so now I'm working on a long-term deal, which is amazing. And it's like four rounds of content. So I have a campaign with them. I mean, a meeting with them today to discuss like expectations, deliverables, um, the product focus, and we're actually focusing on, let me show y'all what the product focus is. I actually hope I can talk about this. I feel like I can, I feel like I can, cause it's already in store, but um, it's their new cleansing melt. So this is such a cool product. The way it works is you, it's like these little towelettes and you wet them, when you wet them, it turns into a face wash. So this one is a vitamin C, and then this one is retinol. 
So this is such a cool way to like knock out two birds with one stone. You're washing your face, but you're also getting the benefits of whichever product, whichever serum or treatments in infused into these. So that's so cool to me. So yeah, these are the new products that we're working on for the rounds of content. So that's what we're going to be talking about in our meeting. And I just love working with Olay. And it's funny because when I went to Chicago recently, um, I ran into one of the ladies who was on the campaign. She walked up to me and she's like, we love your dad's content. We love the, the video you made. We're so excited to be working with you again. So to be able to put like a face to a name, you know, and just to like meet the people who are who are like behind the campaign, who actually want to work with me, who actually watch my content, it was just really really cool. So a little tip: you never know who you are who you gonna meet in public. So you always gotta be presentable. You always gotta be yourself. You never know who you're going to encounter, and you also never know what type of organic content could bring in long term opportunities. Like that was such a spur of the moment video I made, but it literally brought in like a year long partnership. So. You literally never know who's watching your content. You, you just never know. So yeah, let me get started for my day because I've been talking a whole lot and I'm gonna call y'all back a little later. Coach Montez. Just got drafted to the New York Bobcat. <laughs> Over here crying. Spencer just got drafted to the NFL. Happy Friday. We are on our way to my annual appointment. Finally, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's literally been a nightmare dealing with my whole annual slash body overall, to be honest, y'all. I've been going through it with my body as of lately. Um, I didn't vlog when this happened, but I had to call 911 and had the ambulance come to my house recently um, because I was that sick out of the blue like without expecting it so let me just tell y'all how it happened i'm on birth control okay i've been on birth control since like 2020 and i have not been off birth control since 2020 so just recently my doctor stopped prescribing me my birth control because i was due for my annual so the my past ob that i used to go to was all the way where i used to live when i first moved here in 2018 so I hadn't been over to that office and it's also like an hour away so I didn't want to drive all the way there and also my insurance does not cover that OB's office. So obviously I was like well let me just schedule an appointment nearby where I live now and with the OB that my insurance covers. Y'all I went to schedule the appointment, schedule this appointment in June. The next availability is not until August 23rd okay august 23rd y'all so my birth control renewal expired back in june and my last ob was able to give me one more refill but since then i haven't been able to get any more refills so this is my first cycle without being on birth control and birth control helps my cycle so much because i have the worst cycles you like imaginable and once I got on birth control, I noticed how much that helped me. So obviously I continue like staying on birth control and me being off of it and not taking it is not, it wasn't like up to me basically. They literally would not prescribe me any more birth control until I came in for my annual. So I wasn't able to get an appointment with anyone in my network until August and I scheduled this in July. Meaning I've been without birth control for like two months now. So the cycle that I just recently had, that was my first cycle that I've ever had over like four years without being on birth control. So I've had cycles, but I just haven't had them without being on my on my birth control. And baby, y'all, I went through hell. I was throwing, I threw up six times in one day. I felt like I was about to literally, and that it was about to be over for me. And to be honest, the way I, I was feeling so bad to where I would not have even been upset if it did end, if everything ended at that moment. That's how in pain I was, like, and how traumatic the experience was. I would not have minded if I just at that moment completely, just so I could be out of that pain. 
like the the EMTs came to my apartment they gave me a nausea shot and some ibuprofen and they were like we can take you to the hospital but we checked all your vitals everything's great so we know it's not like an underlying issue or you're not going through anything is literally just because of your cycle and if we take you you'll just be wasting and paying an extraordinary like an extraordinary amount of money for something that even they may not even be able to make better so i ended up having to literally wait it out y'all that was the worst few days of my entire life and even before i had birth control my cycles were not that bad so i have no idea what happened so this appointment at first i just wanted to get to schedule it to get my birth control refill but now i'm going because i want her to figure out what is happening with my body and if it's like a underlying issue you know i just want to be completely sure about my health so i'm actually a little nervous going to this appointment because i have no idea what i'm going to find out the doctor that i'm going to is a black lady and this is my first time ever going to a black lady so i'm very excited about that for obvious reasons oh, but i don't know y'all i'm just a little nervous and also with me moving i'm not going to be out here like that much longer you know so even though i found this black doctor she's in network with me this will probably be my only appointment that i have with her because she's not i'm i'm leaving you know so i'll let you guys know how it goes i am so scared i'm actually very nervous i just hope there's no bigger issues that are happening with my body but even if there is i just need to know about that now versus later you know also y'all i don't know if you guys watch all american but when i was crying <laughs> in the vlog it's because of all american y'all if you don't watch that show it's just something about me seeing young kids excel in life young black kids as well like just excel in life and overcome obstacles i can relate to those stories so much of like my own life so i don't know stuff like shows like that even though i know it's like made up it just gets me it affects me and i just feel like i've been riding with spencer for since like 2020 when this series started 2021 i've been riding with them <laughs> and it's like i feel like i actually know him and if you watch all american i'm sure you can also relate girl it gets me emotional i don't know and i was literally boohooing over people that i never met and people that's not even real <laughs> but anyway i really do love my outfit today um i filmed like three videos earlier today one of which was trying those road blushes and baby go to my tiktok to watch it if you have not seen that video gloria had made a video about the road blushes and they went crazy on the internet and i just haven't waiting to try them i just never got to it i finally tried them today all i'm gonna say is go to my channel and watch it <laughs> but um yeah i love my outfit today it's super cute i have on this dress from revolve and then um i'm gonna try to show you guys my dress today but it's super cute and i wasn't even like planning to dress up for this appointment but it just worked out with me recording videos and i just love to get cute okay one thing about me i love to get cute so yeah let's go to this appointment though and let's just hope for the best darlings 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 i am here to announce to all of you that we got the goods i may tell you a joke but i will never tell you a lie you hear me it's too good to look at oh huh yeah you see that baby the way this is my crack I will never leave your side again. I have seen what happens when I forsake you. Oh my gosh. This must be what drug addicts feel like when they get that crack in their hand. It has to be. When they get that fresh heroin, oh. I now see, I now see. Cause baby, my withdrawal phase. Oh yeah, give me the drugs. Give me the drugs, baby. What's today? It don't even matter. She said, if you take it right now, it may disrupt your cycle. Girl, you think I care about that cycle? No. Hello? I said, girl, I don't care.
care if I miss a cycle for three months. Give me the drugs, okay? She ended up having a pack of this on hand. Thank you to my doctor, to my doctor. Thank you to my doctor because y'all, I was going through it, baby. I was going through it, okay? But she also prescribed me my three month um, refill and I now have it for a year. So as far as the important stuff, <laughs> I'm sure y'all like Crystal. What about the health, the health side? Are you healthy? I am healthy, y'all. But we don't, we're not for sure. We don't know for sure. But she did my Pap smear and everything looked normal. She did a breast exam. Everything looked normal. She told me the only real way to find out if it is endometriosis is to have an ultrasound. But it doesn't make sense for me to schedule that here in Austin. I should schedule it in Dallas since I am leaving, and you should schedule it when you are finishing your cycle you should schedule your ultrasound i think she said finishing your cycle it's either right before or finishing i think right before so i'm literally leaving like a week prior to when that will happen so she told me to schedule it when i get to dallas but she told me that every like if i had a history of really bad cycles really painful cycles like before my birth control then it would make her feel like it's endometriosis but she said based on my history and how this is the only one that I've had that's really been this bad. She doesn't feel like it is. We'll see guys. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm hoping for the best. So when I get to Dallas, I'm most definitely going to schedule that to just see, like just to be sure. I'd rather be safe than sorry and no now versus no later, you know. With that being said, we, we got the drugs, y'all. We got the drugs. The mission here is accomplished. Oh, actually, I do need to go to Neiman Marcus. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. It always reminds me of when Oyen's like, girl, you, you celebrate everything for yourself. It don't matter if you got an extra like on a post, you going to Neiman Marcus. <laughs> and it's so funny because that's literally how I be sometimes. But I actually this time have to pick up my mom's bracelet. We got her a bracelet for her, just for her in general, like that gift that we got them an appreciation gift and we got my dad the golf clubs but for my mom she had to get her bracelet resized because the okay you don't know Van Cleef bracelets they fit really like they fit me really large because I have a small wrist but my mom tried on hers um it was too tight like it was exact to her arm so when I ordered it I went ahead and had them extended and I thought they were just going to extend it like I got the largest extension you could possibly get which was three centimeters and I thought the three centimeters was on like the whole bracelet no it's three centimeters per like in between here three centimeters each so girl I had to extend in that bracelet to almost be a necklace okay same car but okay y'all so I picked up my mom's gift she literally just emailed me yes email she emailed me about her bracelet not text emailed me <laughs> okay and I also got myself a little brooch from Chanel so I got that brooch because I'm going to fashion week and I want to be able to wear the brooch on a hat I have an outfit in mind. Actually, I have to go home as well and pick up a package that just got delivered because I have to go to the tailor. Ooh, can I make it today? I may have to go tomorrow and get these pants altered because I want to wear them for fashion week. So let's go see, let's go see. Okay, I'm back home and we got our box for fashion week. Well, some of the items. Let's see if these pants fit for one. Because girl, I ordered from Akira 
And I love Akira's items because they're so like unique and stuff. This is a dress I ordered. I think it's gonna be so cute. Um, I ordered this skirt. Ooh, this top. Ah! But what I gotta, what I need to try on. Ooh, this dress. Is this dress and these pants, y'all? Look at these pants. They have like rhinestones all on them. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I ordered a size up. Oh, these pants eat down. Oh my God. And they look, they look like they're long. Oh, hold on. Y'all have to see this. Y'all have got to see this. Y'all, look at these pants. Do y'all see all the detail in these? Oh, this eats down. This eats down. Let me show y'all one more thing. I also got this dress. And I don't even know how this dress is going to like look. Oh, this is so different. So it's a, it goes like this. And then this part is like, is it see-through all the... It is see-through. I thought it had like a lining in it. No. Okay, well, look at the... Yeah, you see that? If this fit, it's going to eat down. Okay. Hopefully, y'all can see this. Look at the lip. These are sick. Sick. I don't even know if I need to get them altered. I need y'all to see this. Sick! Oh, I'm gonna eat these up. I'm gonna wear these so much. Oh my gosh, and look at the length on them. I could wear a tall heel, baby. And these are actually in a tall length. Oh, I am obsessed. Okay, I need you guys to see this vision come to life. I'm not gonna get them tailored because I actually like the lower, the lower rise look. And this is the top that I got to go with it. If you look at the top, it has the detail around the collar that matched the pants, right? Right, right, right? Okay, I'm getting excited. Then I'm gonna do a black hat with the brooch on it that I just got. And I feel like, oh, y'all, look at this brooch. Look at this brooch. Do y'all see this brooch? Like, hello? This? Like I'm gonna do a black hat, I think, and I'm gonna do like a red lip. Yeah, I think that's gonna eat down, baby. Oh, this, this is, this is, uh, okay, 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 okay. I can't even talk, I'm getting so excited. Okay, y'all, here's a second outfit. It literally fits exactly like I thought it would. I love it, it literally needs no alterations. Like everything looks really good in it. And I feel like when I wear this, I'll wear some shapewear. So like my waist is more accentuated. But I just feel like with this outfit, I need a statement. Like yes, the skirt is a statement on its own, which hello, this is fire. Like I love, love, love this. I don't know what, but something else needs to pop with this outfit. Good thing is I don't have to take anything to get altered. I like it, but I'm just like, what is missing? Something's missing. I have to think more on this one. Happy Saturday. We are one day closer to move out day. And today y'all, I have some friends coming over to actually help me move. Um, since I'm gonna have the extra help, I feel like I should try to tackle that wallpaper, get that out the way, like right now, since I'll have like manpower, you know? And then I also wanna be able to have um, some food and snacks here for them when they are like helping me. So I think I'm gonna go to the store, when I think, I'm gonna go to the store in a little bit to actually go pick up some, I'm thinking I'll do like sandwich. I don't know, I have to figure out what I wanna do. Um, get some food, get some drinks, some water, just like some things so everyone's hydrated when they're helping me and also well fed. And uh, yeah, but today is a serious packing day. I'm really hoping I get a lot of things done. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel overwhelmed. Like, I don't know y'all, I'm just starting to feel a little stressed. And I just, this is like actually the last full week in my apartment, which is crazy to say, but it's the last full week in my apartment and coming next Monday and Tuesday, we're actually like moving, moving. And then like, it's just literally picking up from there with a busy, busy schedule. Feeling the moving woes and the stress, but I wanna give you guys a little lip update. Also, my skin is like super oily right now. Well, not oily, but super glowy. I just applied my, did my skincare, my SPF, all that. But my lips, y'all, I love how they're looking. They've gone down since, <laughs> 
the first day I got them done look really really good right so that's a little lip update and we're only on day three so I'm gonna get the full heel results in two weeks so this is still a little swollen but I think it looks really good right now so let's head out to the store pick up all the um pick up all the stuff that we need and come back this is the progress that we have so far as far as boxes just three that's fully packed um, I have one more in my closet that's kind of fully packed, but this is how much we have. Then we have this bag and I have so many, y'all. I'm going to show y'all. I'm a little embarrassed by this, but I'm about to put it all in bags. So I guess I shouldn't be embarrassed, but this is real life, baby. This is what my bathroom is looking like. These are all clothes that I'm going to be donating and shoes and bags and stuff like that from out of my closet. Because like I said, I really want to clean out so much. This is trash. This is the box I was telling y'all about. These are boxes that I'm going to be taking with me. Yeah, I'm excited to donate some stuff because girl, I be having stuff, baby. And I don't be realizing that until I clean it out. I'm a ticking dynamite. I blow your gun to lights. You know I'm just that type. No, them no fit kill my vibe. Them no fit kill my vibe. No fit kill, them no fit kill, them no fit kill my vibe. Why is my stand? Well, you're the star. Yeah, you shall find them. Be so bad, fine. If you hit your enemy, enemy is shy. If you're not a friend of me, enter the line. But you can never kill my vibe. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Y'all, when I tell you, having people help you move, pack, I mean, game changer. In a matter of like two hours, my kitchen was packed, my living room was packed, my um, secondary closet was pretty much kind of, I have an idea of how I want to do that. Um, my bathroom, all the things that I had hung up there are off. I still have to get the goo gone to get like that, you see those three squares off? That's where I had my product bottles. Why can't I think, y'all? Oh, my brain, oh my gosh, in the morning time, it's gone. Like, I don't know, I can't remember anything. That's where I have my product bottles hung up. Um, also, all the things that I mentioned in that Amazon video for decorating my house that I've mentioned for this, y'all, this stuff hung up so well and stayed so well. Also, all of my, all of these trays, I had these trays in my bathroom. Girl, go, they came down so easily. Um, I also had to get the goo gone to like get the extra sticky residue off. But if you actually follow the instructions on Amazon, like that the seller gives for hanging hanging all this stuff up, it does not come down. I've had no issues with it at all. And that's where I have my conditioner bottle, my shampoo bottle, and my body wash bottle, which I feel like in my new um, apartment, I'm gonna also hang that stuff up in there because it just worked so well. So last night, I so we went out to eat last night and then I came home and I was like on the couch. Girl, I fell asleep on the couch. I was so stuffed and full. And then I woke up at like 3 a.m. Why did I have the desire to, to start packing stuff? So I packed up, I went through like a lot of my products over here in my bathroom and like threw stuff out and kind of like cleaned it a little bit. So now I just gotta put this in boxes and then I have to go through the bottom stuff. But I've made some progress overall and i now feel so good about moving because at first i was so stressed but now i feel like i actually have a i actually have a, a hand on like what all is happening and i have a good control over it so if you are ever moving girl ask for help okay get the help also let me tell y'all girl the wallpaper that wallpaper came out like tender chicken baby that wallpaper literally slid off that wall i was so afraid that the wallpaper was gonna like leave a mark or like you know be really hard to get off and then it'll mess up the wall take off the paint no ma'am i was nervous over nothing he literally got out there and girl it just pulled down that's it pull down so if you do want to get that wallpaper it's in my amazon makeover bedroom video and i have it linked i'm going to literally be ordering another one for the new apartment but it was so easy to take down and no damage whatsoever was left so we just have a few more things to get cleaned and packed up right bubba and also my closet's pretty much done so i'm really really excited about this y'all i feel like i have a better hand on it and happy Sunday. This is actually the last day of today's vlog as well, but yeah. 
I feel good about everything. Say hi to Bubba. Bubba, say hi. And were you a help yesterday or were you a hindrance? We still don't know about that one. I have an actual apart. I have an actual question for y'all. Do y'all be watching um paternity court? <laughs> Cause baby, when I tell you, I be watching me some paternity court, okay? I don't care. Like, it be so funny to me how they be like running out and how they be crying. Well, okay, let me not say the crying part is funny. What's more so hilarious is how, it's more so hilarious how it's like, it's all of this really necessary to tell if you're the father? Like they be going through all type of situations, telling all the history. And it's like, it's so over the top extra. And I love it. <laughs> I be so tuned into paternity court. Paternity court, Judge Mathis, um, People's Court, girl, the whole nine. I be I be watching like he my baby daddy, okay? I be tuned in. And it's like when you think about it, it's like y'all come y'all doing all this for a free paternity test, which I know some people can't afford it and it like it, it makes sense for them. But they don't just be doing it for a free paternity test. They be doing it to air each other out. Cause you could have will on that show, cut straight to the chase, gave them a little bit of detail, but no, y'all be giving them the juice. Y'all be giving the tea, honey, and the tea be piping hot. And I'll be like, this was not necessary. We did not need to know this on national TV. Like we did not need to hear that, okay? You could have kept that hidden and we still would have got the same result. But they be going ham, baby. Like there was this one episode where the girl literally dog, she was grimy when i say grimy i mean grimy girl i'm like oh my god how do you become that that's just that's wild but okay i'm gonna get rid of my whole mission of clearing this stuff out is to get rid of stuff this tatcha essence it's like so many products that i get y'all that i just don't have time to actually use and I know they're good products. Like this says six months. It's only good for six months after you open it. I know good and doggone well I had this for like a good two years. This one's probably six months as well. Yeah. And this is the rice polish. This one's actually really, really good. It's like a powder that turn, turns into a foam. This pattern mousse, I actually do like that. So I'll keep this. The pattern mask. I don't need this one. Now the pattern, the styling custard, that one's pretty good. Oh no, see these African Pride pre-shampoos? Oh baby, they, they come with me. Also a lip update real quick. They look good, huh y'all? They look good! You can't even say I look good. You can't say it. You can't say it. I know at first y'all probably like, what in the world? That girl, what's she doing with her face? I know y'all probably typing, you don't need to touch your face. You don't need that. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, she done went and messed up her face. Mm-hmm. They look good, huh, y'all? Like, just look at that. And this is only day five. Like, I literally have a week and two days of more healing to do. And like, they already look, they look so even. It just, juicy, juicy. I'm about to go and continue clearing all this stuff out. And oh my God, this is so, y'all remember this deep conditioner? I had the girls selling this baby out, you hear me? The Dr. Miracles Rice Protein and Babasu Oil Deep Conditioner. This is one of one, okay? This is so good. And once again, another empty jar because I don't play about this deep conditioner. Slip? You talking about slip? Ain't something about affordable price, like seven to eight dollars for 12 ounces? Yeah, yeah. The girls wish they could, okay? The other companies wish they could. It's a little bit later, and I don't know if you guys have been following me on TikTok with like my whole tear tear debacle and like how I was trying to find my perfect shade in their foundation. And tear tear is a Korean foundation brand. They launched two more shades, like literally, well, they launched a few more shades but two of them are for darker skin tones. And y'all, I finally found my shade. I don't remember which one this is, but it's been a while since I've tested it out because I they sent me these before they were released. You see the back, there's no shade number on it. They sent me these and they were released. I think I'm the lighter of the two, but they honestly look so close in color. I'm gonna just try them both. But y'all, it's been this series that I did trying to find my foundation shade match has gone viral. Okay, so it's not this one. That one's like way too dark. Uh, it must be the other one. It's going viral on TikTok. When I say viral, I mean like 20 million views maybe 
over like the few videos that I did, which is insane. And they actually reached out to partner with me. And it's crazy because like, this is a Korean skincare brand. So of course they don't have the type of inclusivity in their shades as a American brand or most brands. Like they typically have smaller shade ranges, but the fact that they're doing this so quickly with coming out with like new shades that are inclusive, it just, shows how dedicated they are to inclusivity so let's see is this must be the one that i said i liked did you even see that apply to my face i'm putting stuff on my face right now i'm not even gonna dab it over here look at how insane that match is Okay, you see the darkness I have right here a little bit? Let's dip it in and let's apply. Hello? No, it's actually quite crazy. And I can't believe I finally have a shade in this formula because this formula is so unique. Like the coverage alone is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Blemish wear, girl. It gives your skin that flawless. Look how flawless my forehead looks. Flawless. And this is shade, I actually don't even know what shade this is because it doesn't have it on here. Oh, 45N, okay, 45N. So the last one that I used was 43N, this is 45N. I could use a little bit of a warmer undertone as well in this foundation, like if they were to come out with that, like a 45W maybe, but this looks so good. I completely forgot to close out this vlog, so thank y'all so much for tuning in. It is actually Monday now and I'm about to record some content. I'm gonna just give y'all a sneak peek of how my house looks right now <laughs> before I close out this vlog. Girl, do y'all see all of this? Yeah. It's a hot mess in the Crystal Nicole household, but the next vlog, we're gonna be moving y'all. So I'm so excited. I can't believe time is like passing by as quickly as it is. My camera's literally dying and I have so much to do, so much to get done. So I'm gonna see you guys in my next vlog. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in and subscribe if you're new. Peace. Baba, say bye. Say bye-bye. Now I'm rising.